Welcome back my gardening friends. Well, these are my rocket um, potatoes. They're a first early. And I think now, uh, for me, where I live, it's the right time to get these planted. And as you can see, the uh, chits are doing uh, really well. They're small, dark. They're all over the place. That's the bottom. That's the top. Now, if you want bigger potatoes, you knock the chits off. But as you know, I love small potatoes. So all the chits stay on for me. So my homemade compost mix for the potatoes looks like this. Some of the material from the compost bin. We've taken most of it out now. This is uh, reasonably rotted down. I'll be adding some well rotted manure some of the leaf mold that come out of the trommel with twigs in some of the spent compost that's got the perlite in that we've spread across the uh, allotment the soil compost and material from out the old beds out of the polytunnel need a little bit of soil in there to give it a, a bit of body as well as the leaf mold saves it drying out too quickly some log ashes and some blended eggshells they'll be planted into these 56 litre cloth pots that uh, I find the compost in that gets dumped on the side of the road by the cannabis growers and as a little experiment remember the uh, comfrey cake from 2018 that was dried and blended and we'll have another go at using this potato feed that I had given me so two pots with the artificial two pots with the blended comfrey cake and after 12 months this is what it looks like so the potatoes will work on all that material uh, throughout the summer over the winter and then this is what I've been using in the bottom layers of the carrot and parsnip beds because it's still got a little bit of nutrient left in it but that's there just as an example of what you can create from mixing all your composts soils and anything else you've got to create a potato mix that costs absolutely nothing eight no 12 seed potatoes from the allotment shop just over a pound one uk pound i think one pound 20. so this is the soil compost and material from the polytunnel the old beds a quick sprinkle on each one that i add log ashes eggshells manure and uh, log ashes and eggshells leaf mold and unfortunately a few twigs with lots of worms log ashes and eggshells and finally the spent compost with perlite in it that I find uh, dumped uh, fly tipped and now just a, a good mix. Just work it through and you'll be surprised how quickly you can mix it all together. finish that off so that's a, a really good stir and there we go a bit of everything in there stones as well but they'll get sieved out uh, in over 12 months time when I come to reuse this now the moisture content on this is pretty good a lot of people make the mistake 
of watering in the seed potatoes. You can, but it may rot the tuber. The tuber, if reasonably solid, will have enough moisture to get the plant growing so you don't have that problem. We'll just sit you somewhere and I'll get uh, one of the bags. Right, we're only one person, so how do you use a shovel and hold the container? So if you get a, a good shovel full on, hold the shovel there and then let the back of the shovel rest on your arm. You can physically hold the bag straight. I'm losing the light quite quickly, so this is the uh, comfrey, uh, blended foot comfrey. Uh, I've got to have enough for two layers. Beware of the dust, guys. Any dust. And uh, we can just get the two potatoes. Preferably, we'll have them near the handles. And then when we come so far up, we can have it opposite the angles. Handles. So we're just going to add more compost to that now. We should have enough now for another container. Don't worry about the twigs. So we'll go for two more potatoes opposite corners not too near the edges of these pots because they are air pots but when the roots hit the air pots they die back and create more roots so realistically you should get more roots and more potatoes but you know me this is costing nothing First earlies and lights, take them to the top. Don't compact it. These will go now into the uh, the uh, greenhouse here on hashtag starting an allotment. Don't forget to pay hashtag starting an allotment a visit if you're new to an allotment and see how I actually uh, created this allotment from day one uh, and to, to two years on. This will have my tomatoes in at the moment. These are my New Year's Day potatoes. So I'm looking forward to really re relieving, revealing those on April 1st. So they will have had X number of days in the pot. And these were the Jazz Supermarket potatoes. There was four, a small salad potato. There may be all top and no bottom, but if I get something, I'll be a happy bunny. So I'm going to end up with three containers, not four, can't multiply. So this is the uh, potato feed and it says uh, so much, that's it, so much. Some say you don't need the fertiliser at the bottom, but that's where the roots go. The tubers will feed off the potato. We'll feed off the, the roots. There's the handles. We'll top that up with more compost. Pop the potatoes in. Opposite the handles, push them down a wee bit. We'll get that topped up now. Fifty-six litres. Surprising how much compost you have to buy. That's nearly two bags, so it's ten quid. It cost me nothing. Let's just get those that stone out. That's those two's done. I'll finish the one at my leisure before it gets too dark. And I must put that on there for now, so I don't get mixed up. And I'll put the comfy cake on the other one. 
because I don't think I've probably got quite enough uh, compost there. Surprising how much you need. Probably by the time I've scraped it all up, I will have. But that's how I mix my compost for my potato mix. And as you saw earlier, you uh, you get a really nice uh, compost after 12 months. So basically everything that comes out the uh, compost bin uh, will break down quite easily. That's if I'd have been clever enough to get some compost bin <laughs> out the compost bin for the mix. So I'm going to have to take a little bit out the top of those and mix a bit of this in with the other uh, and top it off. What a wally. So <laughs> this is the material out the compost bin. Realistically, that's uh, really, uh, really good stuff. So I'll mix that with the stuff that I've already taken out at the tops, and at least I can say I remembered the compost bin. So there we have it. Got it right in the end. I'll uh, now there's definitely enough material uh, for the other bucket, but I will make a note that this one may have had more compost bin in it. But it don't matter. It doesn't cost nothing. So this is the final bag and this has had more compost bin material in it. So we'll keep this one separate. So that's three separate ones. One with no added uh, ingredients other than what we've uh, had added with the compost. One with a bit of artificial and one with the comfrey cake, the blended dried comfrey cake. Now I'll say that's well wet enough Especially now I've got some out of the uh, compost bin. What a wally. Well, as long as you rectify the mistakes, it ain't a problem. Now I add log ashes to prevent slugs and scab. I fully believe that log ashes prevent those two things. A lot of people say differently, but ever since I've been using log ashes, um, I haven't had to. Uh, uh, any issues whatsoever so these will stay in there till uh, possibly the middle towards the end of May where we probably may get our last frost and um, if we get any frost forecast in the next few days I'll be uh, taking uh, or covering these up and just protecting them hope you've enjoyed this if you have please like and so you don't miss any future videos please subscribe happy gardening to you all till next time to ra for now These are my potato buckets for this year. Recycle, reuse, repurpose. We love recycling. <laughs>